Welcome back, finally, to DuckTale Games Transmog 4. It's been a long, long time since I last streamed this one, so I uh, thought we'd get back into the mix of things, and a massive, massive, massive thanks to DuckTale Games for giving the opportunity to preview their London Overground, Gospel Legs, Barking Riverside, Suffragette Line, route early. So, it comes out tomorrow, uh, released at 10pm console, I believe it's 6pm for PC, for Steam and uh, Epic Games, but here we are, we've got it in front of us, let's jump right in and let's run a few services, shall we? Uh, yeah, so, very exciting. First thing first, we'll start the training module. Let's get a grip to the train, shall we? It's Class 710, the event train uh, that made its way onto the London Overground in 2017. So the trains are about seven years old now, still brand new, still very fresh, but overall really, really excited to swarm up to the London Overground, Gospel Lakes of Barking Riverside. Welcome to Gospel Oak Station, located in northwest London. First opened in 1860 in the London borough of Camden, Gospel Oak Station serves as the western passenger terminus of the line. The station is operated exclusively by London Overground, which handles all passenger trains at the station. Alright, so again, shall we? The wife comes in a bit slow today, let's see if we try and speed things up a little bit. Interesting, if work hand doesn't, uh, doesn't play board, I think I might just drop it. Let's begin, shall we? There's a missing route map over there. Fix that while you're here. Let's grab our first map. There are more tasks to complete. Don't forget to apply the route maps, store the defibrillators, find the goblins, and replace the fire extinguishers. So four things to do. Maps, fire extinguishers, Wait newspapers, here on the and platform. goblins. Your train will arrive shortly. The train at the part over there, that's going towards Stratford. That's part of the Stratford to Richmond and Clapham Junction line. Very shortly, hopefully soon. I think our train's about 400 yards out now, so that's going to be arriving soon. And that'll be our train into. Uh, well, half my uh, That'll be our train heading towards uh, Barking Riverside. Yeah, it's not long to run the world, it's about 15 miles from uh, start to finish. Albeit, a very busy line, lots of freight, lots of passenger. I'm definitely just keep an eye out for our train being on the right there. Camden's over lag. As I say, click away from the game, it's fine, it's just running the game, we'll just have a look at settings while this train arrives. Alright, here comes our train. Follow the markers to board your train before departure. Go to the front of the train, so go to the uh, front of the platform. Sit down in any of it. Cool, so, what is our train now? Very shortly, going to the parts. So, the plan is give you a little rundown what I'm expecting to do. So, we're going to start off obviously with the um, that's worse. That is so much worse. Let's try that. Okay. I might drop the web camera then, I'm afraid. When the station first this opened, Gospel Oak was called Kentish Town and served the Hampstead Junction Railway. It was renamed to Gospel Oak in 1867, and a new station was constructed roughly a mile south which adopted the Kentish Town name. After 1926, the station was not used for passenger stops as trains left the Barking Tunnel at Tufnell Park and would pass through, stopping at Kentish Town instead. However, in 1981, the passenger service from Barking was diverted from Kentish Town to Gospel Oak, with a terminal platform being built on the north side of the station. Welcome Maison Line, welcome KK50, how you doing? The North London Line through Gospel Oak was first electrified in 1916 by the London and North Western Railway using the 4th Rail 660 volt DC system. This was later upgraded to use 750 volt DC third rail in the 1970s. 
This too was removed in 1996 between Wilston and Camden in favour of using the 25 kilovolt AC overhead system. In 2010, between February until June, the line between Gospel Oak and Stratford was closed to allow for new signalling system to be installed. 30 platforms were extended to allow four car trains to operate on the line. Work continued until May of 2011 with a reduced number of services in operation during the week and no services running on Sundays. This train is a BR Class 710 slash 2 Aventra electric multiple unit, first introduced in May 2019 to operate the overground services on the London Overground Network. Take on the challenge to operate demanding passenger services in northwest London. See all the sights of London suburbs whilst managing a busy schedule. This is Trainsim World London Overground Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside. So there we go. That's a little introduction to the routes. Um, yeah, very excited for this one. London Overground and a little personal history. Uh, back in the day, it used to be my local line. Um, <laughs> this was years and years and years ago. But um, Crouch Hill Station, that was, the, uh, that was my local back in like, 2003 when we then left. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a nostalgia trip as well. We're definitely going to talk about <laughs> life when I was four years old. But I'm excited. It's a good looking route. Um, and then of course, expect over the next couple of days, um, all the scenarios as well. Still all the scenarios, there's five of them in total, which we'll have a chance to play in the future. So start off with 2 GDF4, 5 plus blokes biking on the other side, nice midday train at 11.37. So again, thank you for giving me a few days to uh, try this out, a few days early. We have a chance to kind of get a, get a feel of these trains, get to hold of the grips and kind of learn how this all works. It's not a difficult train to operate, 7 to 10. Definitely modern and definitely really enjoying this. So 2D Jet 4-5, Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside, driving to ground service from Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside. Four car train, nice and simple. Must key in, reverse and forwards, daylight set, how automatic. These doors on the right. And train is registered. Cool, they need to register that. Safety systems on. TPWS and AWS operational. And there we have it. So, total run about 40 minutes, stopping all stations. And now passengers get on board. <laughs> In fact, the real life uh, 2G869, uh, 14 day non is about to leave uh, Gospel Oak. Maybe we could have done that one, would be too late to reload in. Departures at 39. Doors will close automatically after 40 seconds. They do that in real life, albeit in reality they wouldn't interlock, so we're gonna have to release those doors again. It's one small little detail I think Dutel could probably adjust, hopefully. But basically, with these um, adventure trains, doors do close automatically after 40 seconds. It allows the train to keep the warm air inside or the aircon inside. And then uh, in reality, they stay uh, unlocked. So, Patrick walk up, press the button, and then board the train themselves. And the moment they're currently in slot, so small, small detail that dovetail could hopefully adjust. Otherwise, pretty good over on this train. Well, I guess it's back in the cab now. The parches in 20 seconds. Hop back in. Take a seat. Get ready to close the doors. Yeah, apologies to no webcam. Uh, running with very weird stuttering issues on that, so I had to switch it off. Doors close. Start a nice little departure out, shall we? Cool, so right now on the uh on the up line. Crossover to the down. And then for the next video, I'll be upgraded from 15 up to uh, 50. So it gives a chance to uh, stretch trains legs. It's not the fastest route in the world, so there are quite a few drops down to 30 throughout the run. That'd be at either end, so between uh, Up Holloway and Goss Bloke, and then between Barking and Barking Riverside, um, you do push up to 50. 
and exclusively from barking two river sides, so going towards, and it pushes up to uh, 60, which is a pretty nice little run. So, all stations calling at Upper Holloway, Crouch Hill, Harringay Green Line, South Tottenham, Black Horse Road, Walthamstow Queens Road, Leighton Midland Road, Leighton Stone High Road, Wonsted Park, Woodgrange Park, Barking and Barking Riverside. Going down the hill a bit, so I'm not going to push too much on the uh, throttle there. Let's go down, riding the brakes a bit, as we go up. More freedom. A single yellow there, so we are going to slow down pretty much right away now. As we expect, the reds coming up ahead. Signal in this case uh, is starting signal at up all the way, so just put it on the platform. Uh, something cool occurred in the New York subway. Uh, go on then, uh, Maze Line. What's happened over in New York? What's happened across the pond? Saturday in the aftermath of St. Patrick's Day parades, an R211 train was used as a national gas route. Ah, interesting, okay. Very nice. Right, now approaching up a hollow white. Slow ourselves down. Shouldn't really be using braking level 3. Driver tend to use braking levels 1 and 2 for slowdown. Only use 3 if you're gonna make some adjustments, but we're on to the platform. Pretty good time to. 10 seconds ahead of schedule. Right. Doors release. And then the next station, which is in my opinion, the far uh, most important station, Crouch Hill. Um, yeah, like I say, back, back, back in the day, 15, 16 odd years ago now, uh, yeah, we used to live on a part of the road up in the Crouch End, so I remember this line back in its Silverlink days. It was not great, to say the least. Uh, the London Overground really has completely transformed this line to, uh, to modern spec. Trains every 15 minutes, new trains, new lines. Yeah, the old Silverlink line was not, uh, not, not great, I'm afraid. Right, let's get going, shall we? Not the fastest accelerator in the world, at least not the fastest um, starter. Once you accelerate, you're pretty good, but your initial kind of apply the power and waiting to move, brake release does take a few seconds. So uh, do do bear that in mind with this train. If you're up and flying throttle, don't uh, don't expect a quick get go. Right, so we'll, do, we'll do two or three runs of the uh, Goblin, and then we'll do a quick run of the Watford DC, the uh, Line S line. And then, as a little special nice seat at the end, we'll do a run from. It's down to 30. That sign's really, really out of position. Uh, we'll then do a run along the Elizabeth Line on the uh, Great Western Railway routes. That took a lot of time to configure, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with what I've put together, so that'll be a bit of fun later on. Yeah, I'm still very much in the process of route learning. There's some uh, speed traps I'm not quite aware of yet, but for the most part, I've got a good understanding of this line, how it operates and works. Now approaching Crouch Hill. I'll try to remember to depart on time here. Right, and now it's going to be a bit of a nostalgia trip, like I say. Reach the door, so three can. So, just beyond the station is this tunnel here. Above here is the old line to uh, from Finsbury Park up to Alexandra Palace. It's now the Parkland Walk. 
This is featured so many times in their Jeff Marshall videos. But that's Parkland Walk, former railway line up to Alexander Palace, now converted into a walkway. And that road right there, Park Firm Road, is where I used to live. <laughs> About half mile down the road. Comrade Zach's a number of the house, but uh, yeah, so it's so much of my childhood to come down here. That's the old station house, so it's uh, Crouch End. No, no, this wasn't Crouch Ends. This was, um. Oh, I've forgotten the name of the station now, it used to be. Um, it's not Gillespie Road, something like that. It's Gillespie Road's on the uh, underground. Go on then. Doors close automatically. We'll just let that do its own thing to lock doors. And let's depart. Next station, Harringay Green Lines. But yeah, genuinely. <laughs> I used to live there. Oh, good times, good memories. I remember standing in the garden, my little helicopter toy, the blades flew into the neighbour's garden. I remember going on the fence to the same neighbour's garden um, as well. There was a cat in our garden, so I thought I'd follow it. And uh, next thing I know, I'm in the neighbour's uh, garden. That was quite fun. Yeah, the good old days. Left when I was four. Don't have many memories, but I've got some ones like being in the park. There's like a big park somewhere, a big hill. I can never remember where that park is, but uh, I used to go there with my nan and quite a lot. Welcome Casper, how are you doing? Welcome channel, welcome to chat, how so dude, hope you're keeping well. Yeah, it's an initial run from uh, Gospel Oak towards Barking, then generally going downhill. We do get a bit of climb later on, so we then run on the viaduct. And the violets need to, to cross, um, cross over into the parking uh, station. It's quite a fun bit because we basically we, we go up and we switch lines over the uh, over the rest of the main line C two C, I believe. So uh, yeah, it's predominantly down uh, predominantly downhill initially, and then towards the latter stages run, and then goes uphill. Likewise, in the return, start going downhill quite a bit, and then spend the last few uh, minutes going up. Turn there on the right. Driver a wave. Now approaching Harangay Green Lines. Once the station, I'll get the work camera go again. Hopefully, it runs a bit smoother, but who knows, really? Who knows? Okay, a bit too much braking. A bit of power just to try and get to the end of the platform. I've got to say, the, uh, the route design, the scenery, very, very pretty, very, very well done for Dovetail. You can see the, uh, the old and supports there for the platform where it used to be. It used to be an old wooden platform and converted. Uh, well, it's, it's not too bad now, the webcam. Yeah, I'll take that. Just lighting a little bit again. There we go. Um, yeah, so, all platform spots, the station would have originally been a little longer, doors, and prayer cells for departure, so the webcam again is not the smoothest in the world. Next station, South Tottenham. But you know what I like to do on this section is just ride the brakes, drop down to about 27 miles per hour, and slowly as we continue, this game's a bit speed again. And then just hit the brakes again. So just riding the brakes really, keep the train at steady speed, steady pace. You don't be going too fast. You're only four carriages, so you are very light. And then things do level off again later on.
Uh, propulsion sound won't be smooth sounds similar to the um, R179. Um, yeah. Again, trying to think back to my uh, New York days. Uh, yeah, you're, you're about right, I'd say, with that one. Yeah, if you look for a high speed line, <laughs> this ain't it. This is a nice and slow, steady running commuter line. Uphill now, so if I better power, just get that speed constant. Again, not too much power, but going to start increasing the speed. We're down to 20 as we enter South Tottenham. Cross over a freight line there. And, uh, yes, bring this for hot. I look forward to this Greater Anglia route when. Uh, I'm not too sure, I'm afraid, Dan. I'd love. If there was one, we get a full uh, Liverpool streets to South End Central. Is it South End Central or Victoria? Sorry, for so I think it's Victoria for the um, C2C line. Uh, no, Victoria is. Um, ah, I'm getting confused now. Greater Anglia C2C. Uh, Victoria is um, Greater Anglia. Uh, welcome, Tyler. How are you doing? Welcome, to the chat. How to say, dude? Hope you're keeping all right. Welcome, to South Tottenham. Next station is. Black Horse Road. Whoops. No, 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 no throttle yet. No throttle. Close doors. Uh, Victoria Central is oh so yeah so Victoria is Greater Anglia Central is C to C that's what, that's what I thought. Fun fact I've never used C to C. I think it's the only top in this country. Uh, yeah, because I've used East Midlands before. I'm trying to think of some of the northern ones. I've definitely used Scott Rail. I've used Northern Rail. I've used have I ever used Transpennine? Yes, I've used Transpennine Express. Or ha no, uh, yeah, no, I've used TPE. So I think C2C are the only talk that I've never actually been on the trains for. I've never been on the Island Line, that's part of Southwest Trains, and that's uh, I have been on Southwestern Railway now. Right, up to 40, let's get a bit of speed on next station, Black Horse Roads. Point line gets a bit faster, a lot smoother. Albeit, there is a big drop down to 30 coming up. Exactly where it is. It's a drop to 30, that I don't quite understand in terms of, kind of like where it's positioned. Like it just it drops to 30 for about 200 meters and it goes up again. It's on a bridge on a little curve, but I think it's a major one. That I believe is the East Coast main line. Drop down to 20 now. Yes, yeah, so this section here. Drop down to 20. Like, I don't know if it's just one way. Drop down to 20. But it's not, it's both ways as well. So, here it really slows down. We cross this uh, viaduct here and then get up to 45 again very shortly. So, I'm not quite sure the, uh, the reason for that one. It's up to 45 again. Approaching Black Horse Road. Again, got wet to the driver. Got to wait the drivers on the uh, on the opposite train. <laughs> Now with 
the weather like this, I'm just going to be in the way of uh, wheel slip and traction loss, so I'll definitely be a bit more careful going forward. I should get to the high white setting as well, just for the uh, rain clearance. Right. Station Water So Queens Road. The traction sound light, uh, button is lighting up, so that's just telling me it also has been detected. I'm just now trying to uh, drop the sound a better grip, better perch on the rail. I'm going to uphill slightly, so quite a little bit of throttle just to keep the train rolling. Could accelerate a little bit more as well, it's line speed of 45 right now, we're doing 40. Also, so just about a mile ahead of us, so don't go too fast either. Ooh, freight train, freight train. You're going to see a lot of freight trains in this route. Probably a little more than them in real life, but uh, same for AI services. There are a fair number of AI, uh, freight trains that then uh, use this line as well. On the brakes, then you go on the sand button, just in case you need to activate the sand for the sake of again slowing down and actually making it to the station. Very steady now, very steady. Least. Up next, we've then got the two Leightons, the two Parks, and then the two Barkings. The last few stops are in a, tr a trio of duos Leighton Stone, Midland Roads, Late uh, sorry, Leighton Midland Roads, Leighton Stone High Roads, Wanstead Park, Bush Grange Park, Barking, Barking Riverside. Who's there? I'm really unsure about this train. You on or you're off? You on or you're off? Because I can't, I can't dispatch this train if you're. Uh... Hmm. Let's give it a slow departure because I'm not too sure what they're doing at the moment. <laughs> Have you decided yet? Right, you're on. Thank you. Uh, Top of the stadium. So that is right next to. Um, South Tottenham, I believe. Albeit, I don't think you can quite see the uh, model. We'll have to object you know, later on. One of the scenarios in this um, add on is uh, football focused, so basically it takes you on a trip of all the uh, football teams up in North London. So you've got a uh, stop by uh, Gless Gillespie. Uh, Get a map now. Um, so there's South Tottenham, you, stop, you get off at the um, Tottenham Stadium. Uh, it's either Black Horse Road or Waterstone Queen's Road, you get off of the Emirates. Uh, and Leighton Midland Road is for the um, is for Leighton Orient. And of course West Ham, that one I think is uh, Woodgrange Park. Four stations in a proximity to the station. Uh, stadium. It's not close to stations for each, so Stratford for West Ham. I think it's Leighton Stone on the Central Line, that gets us to the Leighton Orient Stadium. Uh, control shift B for a surprise. Mm, do I trust that? But I genuinely don't know what that does. Control shift B. We'll, uh, we'll say that for the end of the service. Control. Oh, click control B. Yeah, I don't. I don't trust that, uh, Jay. I'm afraid. <laughs> don't quite trust that one somehow.
I'm not putting one side of the train, am I, for the, uh, the train? There we go. Here I'm about to overshoot the station. Well, good old emergency brake there got to stop. Um, can you just Ham Stadium, uh, Charlie, again? We'll see if it's there, but I, I believe, because again, Stratford's close to the station, which you could walk it from the Goblin. Just not not that you should, because it is quite a fair walk. But um, yeah, I don't think the stadiums themselves are actually more. Okay, I'd have to take a proper look. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll spot it when we get there. Okay, West Ham is going to be. Yeah, it's either Wanted Park or Woodgrange Park. The okay, station from here. That's well, not great, but I know you can spot the Shard from, uh, from here, as well as the uh, Banking Districts, Canary Wharf. Oh, Control. Oh, okay, it is Depot Whistle. Okay. Whew. Your horn, then depot whistle. Oh yeah, and also a buzzer as well. So there's a guard for some reason. I don't think it's the sound. There we go. Where's the London skyline? Um, it's hidden in the fog, Charlie. It's hidden in the fog, the rain, the, uh, the poor visibility. It's by the fact we spawned in as a good weather scenario. Dynamic weather in London means rain. Uh, same with the five scenarios. You, you'll see a lot of rain in those. And at one point, snow, which to be fair never happens in London. So that power gets speed constant as we're going uphill. Train there on the right. So you'll come to learn that this is a this is a busy service. A lot of trains, a lot of AI. There's a lot of stuff going on. Generally on an outbound service like this one, or at least on our service, we're pretty good for green. So we may get close to in front of us, and we may see a few yellows later on. But for the most part, things are pretty smooth. Right, train stops, doors release. Have my camp we get a proper view of the train departing. Right, next station, Wanstead Park. Going downhill slightly, so once again running on the brakes. We're a tiny bit behind the um, schedule, but nothing excessive, certainly what you expect with the rain, so I can't, uh, can't complain about that. It's a thunderstorm now. Just saw that flash in front of us. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I do love the thunderstorm in real life. So, uh, I find it complaining. I wonder where that go. Out of the way, there you go. In the ground. If fans come back to New York at some point, then the R211 is just going to start rolling. So, I don't know about New York, 
I'm probably going to be in the States will be uh, probably in October. Florida is the uh, main place we want to go check out this time. Go out to Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Not the best stop in the world, but starts. Again, just overall details. So you can see here the, uh, the old platforms are longer here, which then TFL would have cut back on for the sake of uh, shorter trains and lower maintenance costs. Uh, buildings, the business. It's, it feels a lot busier this route compared to others. I mean, you're in, uh, in the middle of North London right now, so you do accept quite a bit in the way of traffic and uh, passengers and just a lot general movement. But overall, it's, it's, it's a really it's a good looking route, it's a good feeling route, so I've, uh, I've really enjoyed what I've seen so far. Some small little details here and there that I've pointed out. So some of the passenger parts are a bit funny and uh, minor amount of small things with the train. One thing I'd love to see but don't get my hopes up are these two displays here to work. So these trains have cameras on the side of them. And the cameras are here. And that's what the drivers are used to uh, on the train during the uh, dispatch, during the uh, platform process, so this will show the two cameras on the train, watch that, doors close and then once you're happy the passengers are away, move the train. If Dustford ever got that work in the sim, I'd be I'd be absolutely in love, but even without it, it's not the uh, not the worst one in the world. I'm going to have to down again, with the sand, because the most people just drop, they go down to 30. Into a Grange Park. So, again, that's going to be another freight line on the left there, as this line is exclusively overground passenger services. Sands. I've just said, Charlie, we don't see the West Ham Stadium. You can ask as many times as you'd like, but you ain't going to see it, I'm afraid. Doors. Next station, parking. So this is a fun bit of the track. In fact, the next two stations are quite fun. So uh, you, on the run to Barking, like I say, you go up and over the uh, C2C main line. That was, uh, that's a bit of fun. Basically pushing power all the way up and then heavy braking all the way down. And then in the run to Barking Riverside, going this direction, you push up to 60 miles per hour. And you get, you get, you get to really stretch the train's legs a bit. So this is the, uh, this is the fun bit of the route, in my opinion. Uh, what's keep, uh, keep binding for sand? It's X on the keyboard. Press the traction sound button here, we can press X. These for the wipers, X for the sounds. And as I now know, control B for the depot whistle. Green signals are going to be all the way, so no issue of kind of slowing down or braking. And then Barking Riverside, in terms of the station's position right now, very, very bare because it's still a working development site. 
at the moment is currently building uh, new apartments out in uh, in the Riverside project. So eventually, that's going to be built up with houses and shops and businesses and all new everything. At the moment, it's quite a quite a barren site. Lots of uh, construction going on. A few buildings are up, but a lot more to come. Right, so here we go. That's the C2C on the right. Parking station just in front. And you're going to cross over. It's going to say at 45 as part of the run, so I'll pick it up, speed up a little bit now. It's going uphill. Getting ready on the sand if we need it. Cross on over. And down we go. Uh, not trains to Wolves, basically. Oh, come on, you got to see Mind Mango. That's the uh, that's the highlight of the year. <laughs> Too fair, I'm not going to my tickets either. They're not cheap at the moment, but at some point, it's probably your next payday, I'm going to sit down and uh, just, just book the damn show and get up for, up a holiday for Arsenal game. We'll have a look at Upper Holloway once we get back there, then next run. Now approaching Barking. So now at um, the Emirates, it's Drayton Park, that's the uh, closest station to the uh, stadium. Be it close on match days, short narrow platforms, uh, unsafe to have it open, so that's why everyone is on the underground to Finsbury Park. Would be interesting if it did open the uh, Drake's Park on the uh, on game days. Interesting to see if they had, if they uh, did open it, how they implement cloud control, because be a lot of work to be done. Was released. Welcome to Barking. It's late and so in the middle of the road for Leighton Orient. Uh, welcome to Japan, uh, Robert Scrollin. Sorry, how are you doing? Channel the chat. So, all right, dude. So far, so good. Right, close the doors. And that's our final stretch. So, the train terminates. C2C, breaks off to the left. Uh, this bit of track here, once again, formerly a freight exclusive line, which in, I think it was actually last year, last year, before the parking side opened, that's when, um, that's when these trains were then allowed to operate passenger on this line. You can see some of the old track work, points work, and where all the trains used to run. And then these new express lines, these passenger trains run through. Not too fast now, but 60 is the highest speed on the entire line. Former for Brighton and Hove, yes. And then Aston for Aston Villa. It's Wolverhampton for the Modern New. Bill and Broadway for Sanford Bridge. Uh, you can either get off at Wembley Stadium or Wembley Park for Wembley Stadium. Right slip for Wolston FC. Got up here, the Wolston Raider, big up. Uh, who remembers the Wolston Raider? That was years ago now. Um, <laughs> I know that uh, Manchester United have their own stadium uh, station at Old Trafford. I think they're actually closed now. And there we go. Junction indicates the lit. Track to the right. Down to 40. Uh, this is one of the best routes on uh, tra Trains and Worlds. Again, I, li I like this system that I'm so far. It's been a, it's a good looking route, good looking trains. Love the details so far with it. So uh, it's definitely one I'm excited for with this uh, upcoming uh, release. 
comes out tomorrow, like I say, 10 a.m. for console, and I'll be at 6 p.m. for uh, PC. Can you ride as a passenger from Gossip Collect to Barking Riverside after? Um, don't think I'll do a passenger run, Charlie, purely for the fact that <laughs> seeing, it, seeing as a passenger for 40 minutes is not the most uh, fun experience. We could do one or two stops, definitely can try and do that, but uh, I don't think I'll quite be up to uh, running the whole thing as a passenger. So when you're on the trains, and you're really trying to play the trains, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll do a passenger after that's what you want, Charlie. Now approaching Barking River side where this train terminates. Please remember your belongings when you this train. We thank you for riding London Overground. So again, of course, the Overground getting a bigger uh, rebrand at the moment. So this line will come to Suffragette Line. As I can never remember the lady's name, but she lived um, local to I think it was Wanted Park. And so, um, she was the she was longest um, surviving Suffragette. She died at the age of 103. So we'll do a short run of the uh, Watford DC, so we'll do uh, Paramore Zone down to Queen's Park. And then we'll hop on the, uh, on the Elizabeth line between uh, Paddington and Maidenhead. That'll be a fun one to do. Spent last night uh, putting together a livery, putting together a timetable. That'll be fun. Lights. Release. Light is off. Lights off. Train's shut down. Uh, before I should do that. TPWS and AWS operational. There you have it. Turn the lights at the back. To the road, the train. Turn this out the other end. Um, passenger has been nice, Esteban. That's definitely something that Train Smart is missing, and it's something that I would love to see in the future. But uh, there we go. So I got our score. So just completed 3250. Just driven 2030. System 1740. Getting a little bit of speeding 780. That's always going to happen with my runs. But overall, pretty, pretty good. Plus the medal there. Score of 9030. Back to the timetable, still run going the other way. Um, yeah, so there is slide out because of door, Jay. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a sneak preview of what we're going to do later. So uh, we'll go to the editor first, then we'll go back into um, Gosswick's Barking. A little preview of them so far. Go to go back, 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 creators, livery, 710. There's a blind. There you go. If you want to see what I've done so far, there you go. The colours are a little bit off, so I need to tweak them slightly. But black fronts, yellow worm overline. This is flying round doors. Not quite in the right place, because of course you're right, there's this door sat back in the middle there. I only got up to four cars, I'm afraid. I've tried using the the um concept to make it more, but it is what it is. I like it. Is it not a ground in the front? I have to check that now. Around at the front of these trains later. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do later on. We'll do on the Elizabeth line. Um, back, back, uh, go back to trains, routes, you. Right, for Charlie's sake, we'll do a quick passenger hop. So, we'll start off at uh, Crouch Hill, my old local station. The wait's more than five minutes, then we'll just ditch. But uh, there you go. For Charlie's sake, we'll do a short one in the passenger. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. There's a silver round at the front. Trains. Ooh, map. There you go. Here's a whole Elizabeth line. 
Uh, this is before the rebranding. Yes, so eventually these will be getting different lines, different colours, different uh, routes. Hopefully there's no train too far from us. Uh, no trains at all. Of course, this is not a time table, is it? So, uh, okay, that's the end of that. <laughs> right, let's go back to uh, Barkham Riverside, let's drive the service. Train, choose a route, new timetable. As I say, we have got scenarios for this route, five of them total. Football focus, floods, Halloween goblins, stock OC, and remember, remember. Those will come in uh, separate videos over the next uh, couple of days. Timetable, back to you. Could do a freight run later on, but passengers where it's really at. We'll do a evening rush hour, so let's go for. Let's go for five o'clock departure, if I can decide to cost like. Five o' one, that'll do. Right, now train to, uh, we'll add some slide up. So we'll, so we'll try and do two more runs of the uh, Goss, uh, Goblin, and then we'll go over to the uh, to the Lizzie line. Uh, what for DC first, then Lizzie line. So get a nice evening uh, run here. Nice pink sky. Forward, safety on. TPWS and AWS operational. Trains registered to the 92. Release doors on the left. Watch about a minute and a half. As I said, the lighting, even the lighting is superb. Train Squad's pause lighting is, it is fantastic. I absolutely love the, uh, the way it all looks. So train now arriving. So it's in the platform. We'll go. Now turn the webcam off two seconds here. Yeah. Back on in a second. Thank you for the support comments, Charlie. Appreciate it. Whoops. Not what I wanted. Uh, right, there we go. TPWS and AWS operational. Right, so departure in 40 seconds, close the doors, make sure the train's safe to depart, and then we'll get out of it. So, doors close 30 seconds before departure, thank you. And then we'll do the four steps for our platform safety check. Doors are closed properly, which they are, and there's no um, body indicator lights on. No one's trapped in the doors, which they're not, no one's touching the train, which they're not, and the train is safe to depart. So now the train's ready to depart, the train is safe to depart. All four things are good, the train may now depart. London Skyline. There we go, because you spot, uh, just spot London distance over there. Canary Wharf on the left. Getting over to the city on the right, shard just peeking out over there. Shard, no wharf. You, you get a view of London. Remind me we get to uh, Upper Holloway. We'll have a look for the Arsenal Stadium Emirates. Station Barking. This is the reverse. So stopping at Barking, Woodrange Park, Wanted Park, Leighton Stone High Road, Leighton Midland Road. Brakes again slightly. Uh, Watson So Queens Road, Black Horse Road, South Tottenham, Harringay Green Lines, Crouch Hill, Upper Holloway, and Gospel Oak. Uh, Big Ben, uh, that's further west around the river. You wouldn't see it from this line, Charlie. Dan, you still here? It's in my head again. I blame you. Uh, 
back at the man's door. And it's getting cold. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, Charlie, the shard is there. We just pointed out the shard. Right, this is definitely the steepest bit of track there, so really, really going to be riding those brakes now. You can see in comparison, while well, 60 going the other way, uh, we're going to get a top speed of 50 on this line. Right, stacks it. Uh, the Tower of London probably won't be there because it's too short to uh, be beyond the distance. But geographically, it's in between. Uh, well, it's just kind of just immediately north of Tower Bridge, which is just north of the river of uh, the Shard. Slight uphill movement, a little bit of throttle. Very shortly, bridge parking. Down to 40 now. <laughs> nice one, Joe. Um, funnily enough, though, if you were to ride on the southern, um, on the southern lines, I can't remember which one it is, but I'm fairly sure, actually, to be fair, if you. Um, went on the London commuter route, that's London to Brighton, you can see the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, it's just it's a common joke with um, us Brits. So the tower in South London, it's like a TV communications tower, and uh, it has a striking resemblance to the Eiffel Tower, so it's just a joke, like, if you're ever in South London, you can uh, see the Eiffel Tower from there. <laughs> right, welcome to Barking. A little bit. Beyond the stop marker, but it's a long enough platform in case there's 12 car trains. Doors released. Do I have that on me? I do. Should, should we do some self dispatch? <laughs> Go on then, we'll do some self dispatch. Uh, plenty of time. And that's your passenger for the train. Once they're all complete. Right. White light. Okay, train uh doors close. Your lights distinguish. No one's in the uh in the platform train interface here. Uh, green light. Off we go. There you go. Bit of self dispatch for you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I trusted this match back. I'm not only leave at the moment, so I've got to bring it home. No real reason why, just uh, better than the locker, I guess. Now, what we don't know about this route is that when the doors self close off and air conditioning. Um, yes, yeah, so like I say, so they're not supposed to interlock the doors, they um, unlock, so passengers can uh, access it by pressing the buttons themselves. But unfortunately, I think that's more of a limitation of the platform where if doors are closed, they're just assumed as interlocked. So it does help to have to change the uh, door code for that to work. I'd like to see them do that, especially with a route train like this, a route like this, where that's kind of one of the big features of it. What I'd really love to see are kind of misaligned doors. When you close the train's doors, doors don't close at the exact same time. Some will be faster than some will be slower than others. And um, the size of it. Certainly the, um, the 465 on the... Uh, yeah, 465 on the um, southeastern route, Bakery Line train, the uh, 1973 stock. Routes like that, uh, 1992 stop, sorry, um, routes like that where the uh, doors and trains, they're older, they're air powered, and so they uh, they don't close at the same time. I'd like to see that kind of clunkiness. 
uh, yes, the self close, uh, which is technically released but not physically. Like, yes, this is door um, door physics. That's what I see does I work on door physics. Station Woodgrange Park. So yeah, nice little slow run to Woodgrange Park. The speed does drop shortly. Arrival still minutes ago, so pretty good in that regard. I've tried this line so many times, it looks spot on. It really is a um, lucky man. Like I say, back in the day, I used to live on this line. Okay, it looks completely different to how it looks 17 years ago, but uh, yes, yeah, I used to live on this line back in the day. Back in the day, 2003, like I said, we left, but it's a really, really good looking route. Welcome to uh, Woodgrange Park. Lighting effects in the sim really do bring it to life. Really, really do. Yeah, let me hide my, uh, my ugly mugs you guys enjoy the full train departure procedure. Hey, hey, hang on a minute. Did she just jump on the train that was moving? Wow, okay. Undermine the driveway, don't you? Until, yeah, that's, that's that's one of the things I've pointed out where some of the passenger paths aren't great. So even on the last one, the passengers just hopping on, off, on, off. Like, come on, make your mind up. You're getting on, you're getting off. I'll be it. Two so again, dispatching trains in real life. Pe people do that. They, they're unsure about the train. They're always checking the departure board. Is that our train? Is that our train? Yes, no, yes, no. Or just we're burning the signal to uh, dispatch a train. In that very last seconds, you always get one or two people just jump off the train. I think they're just staying in the train is a bit warm. It's warm in the train, it's cold outside, so they're rather keep staying warm for just a little bit longer and then uh, last second make a ditch for it. Now approaching Wanstead Park. Never been great at the park. Even the um, the missions when that those go out uh, later in the week, uh, even in those scenarios, which, um, this station never never quite get the stop right. Not my bogey station. This. <laughs> All right, up next to Leighton's. Now, 
this is where I think I don't know if this is a dovetail thing or not overground thing, but advertise departure time is where's the board? Where's the board? No board here. Okay, well, advertise departure time would be um, at seventeen fifteen. Oops, there's a lot left. Um, outside departure time would be um, 17.15. In reality, we start to just about to process, in this case, would be at 17.14 and 30 seconds. It might just be an overground thing where doors close at the um, advertised time and then the train departs. Station Leightonstone High Road, followed by Leighton Midland Road. Two Leightons. Um, just so you depart Leighton Stone, you actually cross over the, um, the North Circular and the London Underground Central Line. So I have, uh, I have those tracks when we uh, cross over it. Sun has set, it's getting slightly darker and darker now. Headlights providing us with virtually all the light we need for this line. How have headlights on these trains, the adventurers? <clears throat> Some of the other trains, you'll see a lot of halogen bulb because, again, lights and trains aren't used for spotting. They are used for spotting, but not for spotting what's in front of you, rather the uh, position and direction of trains on the line. So that train there's got the white light, which means the train's heading towards me. That's a person on the track, that's a person on the track. Another person on track. Thanks for that. <sighs> Fortunately, we're going slow enough to, uh, to worry about that too much. You know, it's not like I just go all over the place and, uh, on both stops. <clears throat> Look at that later on, it's going to be a case of, oh yeah, train stops 40 yards in front of the um, stop location. Again, passenger part of the ways, could do some tweaking. That's not perfect yet. Again, this is a pre-release add-on, um, so this is still early access, this comes out tomorrow. So I still have time to kind of do these small tweaks and amendments and changes, but so it's not perfect. There are small, small things that do need to look at, do need tweaking, but other than that, in terms of visual, in terms of the route, in terms of the uh, visuals, the scenery, the roads, the trees, the... visually, the modelling, this is really, really good. Just some uh, passenger amendments. That's, that's it, really, I'd say. <clears throat> Trying to do some graffiti. <laughs> It's the um, central line, isn't there? Yeah, this this is the North Circular, and then these tracks here, Fourth Rail. That's the uh, London Underground Central Line. Approaching Leighton at Midland Road. Oh, 
Oh, I'm thinking about it. Is that her again? <laughs> same same player model. Same character model for the uh, the pedestrian there. Thought about it. A bit of horn there to uh, stop. Just release. Can barely see the uh, buttons positions now. It is there. Could have some cab lights if I want to, but I don't think there's any gauge lights so much. It's got cab lights, so I don't really have gauge lights. Station Wartonstow Queens Road. Even the street lights, the of trees, very, very pretty. This there used to be a station here, I believe, that uh, closed down years ago. But there's small, small details. Even just at night, the world is lit up. There's stuff going on. There's there's life in the scenery around this route. You know, it was back in the day, the um, the first um, Northeast Corridor that was Newark Airport to somewhere just north of New York City. I remember just how dead the world was, all these highways and freeways and city, just nothing, not a soul. So yeah, they have definitely gone in the right direction when it comes to crazy bit of life in their worlds. And this certainly feels most alive. point we're uh, just beyond the halfway point. Black Horse Roads, South Tottenham, Harringay Green Lanes, Crouch Hill up all the way and Gospel Oak.
approach the other sides. Uh, welcome, Jinx. How are you doing? Welcome, channel. In the chat. How are you today, dudes? We're keeping all right. Currently running on the uh, Goblin. This is tomorrow, PC and console. 10 a.m. release Xbox and PlayStation. 6 p.m. release for PC. PlayStation South Tottenham. Yeah, good to see you dudes. Not the most active stream anymore, I must admit, but I'll try and do something from time to time. Nice to uh, get back in the sim, get back in the world. Let's go back to train sim as well, we've done a lot of flights in lately. Nice to get back into train sim as well. It's a good, good route to uh, open up with. Pulling a full 60 FPS right now, that's smooth as anything. Down to 20, keep thinking about this bit. Yeah, I'm sure it's something to do the fact that it's a low bridge over a short curve that's coming up but I really don't see much reason why this section is 20, uh, 20. it's not in my opinion it's not the most required speed limit in the world As we approach South Holland, there's a junction we've got to go over. That drops down to 30 on the approach. We're going towards uh, Gospel Oak, certainly an easier run in that you're doing more uphill than downhill, so you're not riding the brakes as much, rather, you're doing a little bit of thrust and just get that train running at a steady pace. Down to 40, okay. 30 from the other side, 40 this side. Oh, there you go, there's a 30. Once again, nice and steady. Train stops. It's released. Somewhere around here is the uh, Tottenham Stadium, albeit I don't think it's quite visible from the, uh, from the station. You can see London in the background again, so you can see the Shard, you can see the Walker Talker building, not the central London there. There's a little left, it's Canary Wharf, and uh, Banking Districts.
I actually get to the map. Um, so, like I say, Dove, so this releases tomorrow. Dovetail will give me the opportunity to stream it early to showcase what's coming up. So, releases tomorrow. Train some world for. A few of us have the opportunity to get a day early just to kind of check out what there is to come. So, again, massive thank you to Dovetail for giving me the opportunity to do so. It's going to cost uh, 20, $24.99. Of like twenty six ninety nine euro and twenty seven ninety nine dollars, something like that. Can't be exact pricing, but uh, already tomorrow ten a.m. on console, six p.m. on PC. Station Haringey Green Lines. Class 7 10 Adventurer. Very nice looking units. Happy you can't see much of it in nighttime right now. Very nice looking unit. Sounds pretty good. Can't fault myself for that. Very, very impressed with it so far. Some small issues here and there. Nothing, nothing excessive. Look at the window. It looks like it's trying to think about raining, but not quite. See a few water droplets just appear on the windshield. Um, yeah, it's definitely thinking about raining now, so get some, uh, using some of wipers, don't need them too much right now, it's only minor, minor rain. Uh, yes, we'll do a passenger run next, Charlie. We're going to do a full run, we won't do the entire line, but we'll do one or two stops, don't worry. Get on, look, lost bloke, we'll get off my, my, uh, my local station, Crouch Hill. Is that snow? Oh gosh, okay, now we're going to really have to think about the uh, braking of this train. Why was going so fast? Yeah, that's just like snowing on us now. Great, never snows in London. Even in November, 23rd November, come on. <laughs> oh, the visibility, that's going to be bad now. We can see the fog, the fog is encroaching again. Why always fog? Why always rain? Why is it always precipitate in London? <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Alright, lock the doors, let's go. Station Crouch Hill. Sound there just to keep train steady. The line below is completely slowed over now. It's just a whitewash everywhere. Not seen really, really heavy snow, certainly for London. So we'll do a passenger run, gossip bloke to uh, Crouch Hill. Two stops. Chelsea looks at the uh, the interior of the train. See what's going on from the uh, what's going on in the world behind us in the compartments.
nice and steady, nice and slowly. We're going to lose time, but in this weather condition, you're not expected to be uh, exactly on time, I don't think. It's released. It got a bit foggier. The train does, um, does have hazard lights. Very, very bright lights that just flash constantly in the fog. Do look uh, really good. Hey, Kendall, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. How are you doing, dude? Welcome to the overground. Next station, penultimate stop, Upper Holloway. See a bit of traction sound required. Lights start flashing. Hold, hold, hold until that light extinguishes. Speed, speed, speed. Now that the visibility really has been shot, it be a good time to uh, check out not you. Uh, not you, definitely not you. You, you. Yeah, the hazard lights really do, uh, <laughs> really do light up the light ahead of us. Go to this bridge. Oop, flashy, flashy, flashy. Doing good. How's the overground? I might get TS4 before right now because that's this is your seat home route, is it? <laughs> As I said, this used to be my home line back in the day. 2004, we um 2003 we left uh, Crouch End. That's uh, this was back in the day my local line. So we had a bit of a bit of a nostalgia trip earlier on. In fact, if it's, okay, if you know the area, um near Crouch End, massive park. Massive hill. I'm sure I remember being at a playground when I was younger, at a park. There's a big hill nearby. He's got a little merry-go-round when I was younger, my nan. I can never remember where that park is. It might not have been crouching exactly, but certainly somewhere in the area. Like a big grassy open area, big hill right in the middle of it. I mean, my local line does feature in one train simulator route, and featuring trains in world, I'm afraid. Actually, there is one line that kind of kind of touches it, but not quite. But uh, no, fortunately, fortunately, my tra my local uh, station does not yet appear in trains in world. I'd love it to one day, but uh, at the moment, it's not yet. We go a bit lower power again, just for the sake of better purchase on the rails with parts. Getting a bit slippy now. No, going over the road ahead in some cases now. Very, very heavy snow. This not what you want to be seeing. Next station, final stop. Cost for light, clutch through terminates. Push up to 55 miles per hour initially. Then we do slow down to about 15 when we enter the platform. Now you're more water slow, and you only guess that the actual palace. So yeah, um. It's definitely not Alexandra Palace. I know we we go we square quite a lot at Alexandra Palace, but it definitely wasn't that. I have to uh, I have to have a look. Uh, this was delayed to see by about six months. <laughs> God, just imagine if you had this in your line, Dan. You'd uh, <laughs> you'd never get home. Do you I'm surprised the overground would be running with this weather at all? You know, this is one that would bring London to a complete standstill. <laughs> Ooh, dry track! Speed! Nah, can't go too fast. We do have a 50 mile per hour siding coming up now. Because when you get to Osbloke, it's not a massive uh, 
platform. It's uh, so you got you got the main line we're on right now. Passenger trains will just stop into the side where they kind of just built a little um, little arm on this track to where uh, the last train terminates. That train just left, so means that platform is now clear. The route's indicating a B. That I'm guessing means bay, the bay platform. That's 15. Just very gently now, coast into the uh, into the platform. Not too far now, about 400 yards ahead of us. You knew home would be Pitsy platform one shelter. <laughs> and again, Dan. I hate you for this. It's just stuck in my head now. There's a burger at my nan's door. And it's getting cold. Yeah, I know. That's just been stuck. I say, it appeared on my Instagram feed earlier on this morning, and now it's just constant loop. It's a great song. It really is. <laughs> Oh no, you can play on the guitar, can you? Right, I demand video of that, dudes. I have not Snapchat. I need to. Uh, I need to see you play. <laughs> yeah, I've not seen the film. Um, will I be streaming the Fife? That's the plan, uh, Charlie. When we get that, we're going to do live stream with the uh, the Fife uh, railway out of Edinburgh. 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 A Rivets Games route, I believe, coming out past 170 Turbo, which would be quite nice to see. And then, of course, stick it in the London Overground livery and run it on this! Pre electrification days, 172. Suddenly, looks the same. Right, welcome to our final station. Uh, these come off. They stay auto. You register you. And train shut down. Off! We'll go through the cab because I don't fancy walking through the snow. Okay, walk through the snow. Something we must. Okay, we've got two trains right now. So we've got a Richmond bound train, we've got a Stratford bound train. So there we go. Um, Objects completed 3250, 2030 distance driven. No wipers on the rain, score is zero. So, of course, we did use wipers correctly. Thank you. Speeding a little bit of speed in there, I think a bit more than last time. Um, but overall, on time back, an accuracy bonus pretty good. It's a little bit later than last time, but it's not the end of the world. Most importantly, though, not a pattern medal for our travels. Right, I'll do a quick passenger run, and then we will um, do some Watford's running. So we'll go to the menu. Ooh, you have the ability to see sound, do you, Charlie? Mm. Interesting. Uh, right, choose a route. What's the bloke's barking? We'll go back to the timetable. You, you. Do a daytime run out of cross the bloke, please. That'll do. Now, I'm going to have to remember how, how many minutes you have to wait until an AI takes over a service. That we've got to uh, remember. Is it like a hotkey you can press here? Yeah, so get started, get rid of that. Pop out. And we'll get the train set up so we can get that just ordered. So basically, I'm going to be standing here and waiting for the pop up, which lets to hand over the service to the AI. I have no idea how long that takes. Hopefully, it's not a massive wait. Who's line this? Which was in five minutes. But again, there's two destinations. It's Stratford. Oh no, just Richmond. It's Richmond and Clapham Junction. Oh no, there is Clapham Junction as well. Fair enough, so you do get both lines. Uh, this is purely AI, so if I rode this train, you wouldn't get very far before it just threw out the map. Let's touch pads. It's actually a pink one in real life, because that's an uh, interchange one. The other ones will be down at the uh, station entrance. Right, is in there. Downstairs. Takes down to street level. 
again, just the, 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 the detail in these stations are really, really nicely done. Just look at that. It looks superb. <laughs> I haven't even got to... Ah, that's, um... Oh, what's his name? He appears in one of the, um, scenarios. He's like a... It's like Inspector Sharp or something like that. See if he's one of the scenarios. He's a ticket inspector. Barriers are open though, so you just walk out. But again, just look, they've got the mural here. Just look at this. The level of detail is something else. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Come on, Dovetail. You know how barriers work. You've got two entry barriers, everything else set to exit. Tally can't go in there. Okay, let's go control. Uh, yes, right. Run, run, run. Let me get to that train before it leaves. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, no! Ah. Let's try again, shall we? <laughs> Uh, let's see present on snap. I'll look at that in a bit, dudes. I'll look at that in a bit. Right, so now I know it's about 30 seconds for that message to pop up when the departure time gets reached. We're going to get another two minutes or so to uh, explore the station. Yeah, downstairs, the lower concourse looks superb. Little coffee shop here. Loco stop, uh, loco stop, uh, stop spot. Sandwiches, coffee, seasoned sweets. Yeah, you stand it's kind of new deal stuff. We got here, got um so we started, got split, whatever's, the wonky donkey, uh chocolates, dovetail chocolates, the roasty, track and rail, fuckers crackers, <laughs> level up, level down, and uh chocolates. Uh, posh chocolates, level up bar, fuckers, train. Look at the prices! Two forty four ninety nine for a chocolate bar. Crackers still two quid. Oh, chocolate six quid. Gah. Between the coffees, a bit more reasonably priced. Um, espresso one fifty two quid. Cappuccino two twenty three. Yeah, the, the drinks are far more reasonable. We get some split hot chocolates. It's gonna cost two fifty three quid. Yeah, the drinks aren't bad, but those are rip off. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> There's no stickers on these ones. I can't uh, can't laugh the prices on there. A light switch. You can turn them on a bit. We'll just a little ramp here. Is that fully licensed? Safe to run there. It's not the uh, not the sticker we got on them. Uh, signal post the phone. Can come the signal if I wanted to, but no need to. Uh, yes. Yeah, let me on first. Really? Ah, 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 no! Let me on! Let me on! Let me on! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, if I did that in real life, I'd lose my job. <laughs> okay, um, we'll try it one more time. <laughs> Oh, so that's brought me to tears. Why did the doors just unlock while the train was in motion when previously they just locked straight away? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more time. This time we'll just sit on the train for two minutes. Oh, that's the. Uh, yeah. It's going to cost £24.99, Dan. £24.99, £25. Quid. Oh, I thought it would give me a bit more time to get on this train before just immediately closing the doors. Oh, 
Right, let's board the train, shall we? <laughs> and you've clipped it, of course you have. Oop, that's a... Uh, that's a broken spike. Why are you green? Why are you green? Everything else works. Yeah, that's all this playing crazy, Gospel Eric. Interesting. Well, we're on a train now. <laughs> uh, magic equipment, so extra ramps here. Yeah, this is like a. This has been accessible carriage here. Yeah, got the, uh, the, the. The seats. The seats are up and foldy, so it's an accessible carriage. Any different shapes on the door? Be interesting spots. Uh, there's no real marking, is there? Normally, carriages, um, accessible carriages, will have like a marking or something just to kind of differentiate it. This one. Not really, I think you just so assume it's middle of the train, so. Yeah, okay, that, that is what it is. Right, the train's barking around, so you've got all the um, displays as well, that goes on a rotation, that's uh, very well nicely done. Safety instructions for the carriages, that is a photocopy, that is accurate. Uh, Customer charging points, yeah, they have got USB charging sockets these trains, so you can sit down and charge your phone if you want to. That's the. Uh, uh, these are the most, are the most, important, uh, most important seats for that. Let's get to uh, charge your phone and sit down. Right, now we're going to sit here for 30 seconds and wait for the train to go. Um, did I see the AT trailer? I did, Kenzie. I have seen the trailer. Right, any second now. What should be the one occasion we don't get the pop-up saying, Oh there, the okay, there's the AI. Just let me have it. 30 seconds. Come on. Oh wait, 27. So we've still got three more minutes. <sighs> okay, is what it is. Um, Elijah looks so cool. Thank you, dude. Welcome to the chat. How are you doing today? First look at the uh, Gospel Lecture Barking, the Goblin. The suffragette line and it'll be rebranded. So far though, very impressed. Looks superb. We're now going to run as a passenger two stops down the line, get off at Crouch Hill, and then we will do a run of the Watford DC line, the Line S line, then we'll do the Elizabeth line, and then we'll then bring the to an end. So we'll do a little bit more. You have seen Fireball Train Line, looks absolutely superb. Very excited to get the A380 on a on a mild train sim, on a mild flight sim. And it's not crashing. We're not stopping at um, Upper Holloway. Yeah, we're stopping at the location of Upper Holloway. So I'm not sure why that's uh, in that sink. All right, one minute to departure now. And then finally we can uh, ride the train. So is it just is it just not gonna let, me let the AI take over? Come on. He's approaching. One time I want to ride the AI. Do it properly. It's just not going to give me the notification to uh, let the AI take over. Come on. Now I'm late for the next station. Alright, if it doesn't give it to me in 30 seconds, I'm afraid we're going to have to call it quits on the passenger run because... Ah! Doors closed, okay. That's going to be the automatic one, the uh, interlock. No. 
It's just not going to do it, is it? That's annoying. Okay, if this ain't going to play ball, I think we have to call it quits. Twice. Twice I missed it. And then the one time I do get on it. Sorry, no 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 departure for you. Okay, enough of that. So over to what for DC as we run from a uh, Harrowmore Stone down to Queen's Park. Giving it enough time now. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. Yeah, not sure about the green screens though. That's uh, definitely a bug. I'm gonna have to report that to stuff to our HQ. And that plan. So I've got two scenarios put together. I've got a Watford DC run on the Bakerloo line. I've got the Elizabeth line on the Great Western Railway. So that's those credits club. Go to scenarios. Go to Bakerloo. Watford DC. Let's give it a run, shall we? This one, cool. So, uh, class 710, run the ground to have its long line S line. So, it's a train up. This is. Where are we? It's wrong, stand by. Leave a small booby on this one. Uh, go back. That's an AI service on them as my main service. Give me two seconds, set that up correctly. But basically, I've got a line from Harrowmore Stone as far as Kensal Green. As much as I'd love to do all the way to Queen's Park, the platform one is not available to be selected, so it'd be a slight inaccuracy. So we'll get, we'll get off as far as we can on an accurate route. It's new, if you edit to DC to make that the player train. Right, let's do it. So, Line S line, London Overground Service calling at Kenton, South Kenton, North Wembley, Wembley Central, Sandbridge Park, Harlston, Wilson Junction, and Kensal Green. Comes on, train reverse forwards, release the doors, make sure it's on third rail mode. Our train's Kensal Green, very clear on the siding, now we're going to Harrow and Wallstone, uh, down going down to uh, Edgeworth Castle, sorry. Mm. Right, close the doors. Station Kenton. Now, this is a high speed route than the uh, Bosboat's parking, so get you to push the train a little bit more. It's 45 miles per hour at the moment. The lines on the left, the um, high speed tracks, the um, express and the uh, uh, fast lines, they exist as a rail, just unfortunately you can't um, 
spawn trains and using the scenario editor. So what I can do, if I really wanted to, is I could create a route that, um, if I went into free roam, I can then spawn train those tracks. I then use the overhead power and run them as well. But uh, unfortunately, that doesn't use off-the-rail mode, so I couldn't spawn this train in on free play just to run it. You'd have to use the scenario editor off-the-rail mode to get this train to work. Because while it uses third rail in real life, Trains in World's third rail and fourth rail don't quite work with another, so there are some minor discrepancies. Now approaching Kenton. Busy that by any means, a lot, uh, a lot quieter in these parts. Hopefully, we get on the Great Western Railway, things will be a little bit busier on the platforms, but for now, not looking too bad. So, now passengers to board and disembark. And the departure time was at uh, 2 minutes past 3, so the departure time is accurate, which is good to see. Let's go to the doors, pay for departure. Next station, South Kenton. Um, I've just done the new route, uh, Train Hunter. I've done about three runs on that. Now doing what for DC run, then we'll do the Elizabeth line, and then we'll bring things to an end. Third time lucky. <laughs> we'll see, um, we'll see, man, we'll see. Let me out, let me out. <laughs> now in South Kenton. Mirror there, that I believe is where the um, actual stop location for these trains would be. In our case, uh, using the platform to make a blue line. Um, this is timetable mode, um, not this on Train Hunter. So, you so I say from release, the uh, class 710 is not a layer of the Bakerloo line, it's not a layer, it's not going to be default, I'm afraid. At the moment, if you want to run this train on the Bay Clue line, you'd have to use the scenario editor to create it yourself. So it's an extra step, unfortunately, but that's more of a limitation to the platform at the moment. If they can do it in the future, they will do, they said, but at the moment, from release, it's not a layer available on the uh, Bay Clue line. I don't know if any of my eye services actually work. Surface, isn't it? Um, I think that train's moving. Next station, North Wembley.
Uh, what route next? We're going to do a short one on the uh, Elizabeth Line, the Great Western Railway between Paddington and Maidenhead. North Wembley. Next station off that is a very busy, very big Wembley Central. Uh, this train terminates will go as far as Kensal Green, so we could go all the way to Queen's Park, which is where it ends bits off to Euston, but the arrival at Queen's Park is the wrong platform, and so uh, unfortunately without the ability to use platform 1 and 4 at uh, Queen's Park, we'll go as far as uh, Kensal Green, just for the sake of um, realism, so keep you in the right tracks. But in reality, the train would go all the way into uh, Euston. <whistles> yeah, they don't use the um, departure balls, don't they? The uh, off the rail scenarios. Fairly busy on the platform now, more passengers uh, slowly boarding and disembarking. Assume we GSMR set, uh, yes, fine. We can do rush to that. Door secure. Next station, Wembley Central. Bakley on approaching. God, oh, very bright that. I'm blinding the passengers inside. <laughs> uh, modern day early headlights, say. Eh? Blinding, even in cars, blinding. Especially when they flash you to let you pass through. Yeah, second like minute. Let's get regain your eyesight. Uh, Wembley Station is a station I've seen lots of upgrades in recent years, so it used to look very similar to the um, other stations on this line, just kind of a single platform, in this case double platform and a uh, small station house, but now basically you have a shopping centre built on top of it, so loads of shops, little concourse, little piazza bits, big big station now. Behind us, you can see running there, Bay Blue Line. Yeah, I've had a hardly one for that one, but it's got a green signal, so it's got permission to go. Anyways, next station Stonebridge Park. Oh. Okay, screenshot. <laughs> Departure. I wish there was the ability to change the uh, passenger loading time at stations on the um, time table because they're definitely a bit slower compared to reality here. The station in Stonebridge Park. Now crossing over the great uh, the West Coast Main Line. Very 
ไปสุกMy mum on the phone. Turn the, turn the oven on. So we'll get to uh, Queen's Park. Uh, we'll get to Kensal Green, and then I'm going to run downstairs. Turn the oven on. Go cook dinner. Monday roast today. <laughs> and then yesterday, but everyone's a bit busy, so uh, you know, we just push back to today. Now approaching Stonebridge Park. Not the best stop ever, but I think the door's in the platform. No, we'll ignore that one. <laughs> we'll ignore it. A little bit too fast there, the 45 mile, uh, mile an hour approach. Probably stadium just in the background there. There you go, if you're still here, um, Charlie, that's, your, that's the stadium over there, Wembley. Close. Awesome. I like this bit, straight level track now, so life as operation is a lot easier. Just coast it, sit back, relax. The train does the rest now, because we have to slow down. But um, compared to the uh, Gosplex parking, this is definitely a leveler route. This is far straighter, so there's no real kind of bends or curves. Yes, we do have the drops going underneath the West Coast main line earlier on, but other than that, this bit's pretty simple. as well as the junction and then Kinsel Green will be handed over to a different driver. There's another road ground train I think approaching. Yep, R710. Actually does about 30 as we into the tunnel so that's a good thing to note. Right, bring it to a halt. Uh, what do I think of the route? Um, Gospel Parking, really enjoying it, Train Hunter. Good looking routes, lots of variety of AI services, the modding's really good. The scenery itself is really high standard. Small minor technical issues here and there, but nothing game breaking. Um, I'm liking it, I'm definitely liking it. And the Class 710, loving this train, it's really, really well put together. Really well put together. Right, 
Force Injunction. Remember, the steel limit is dropped down to 30 shortly, so don't want to be going too excessive in this uh, downhill stretch. So here we cross over with the London Overground's uh, West London line. That is Clapham Junction to Stratford actually, yeah, we go up to Stratford. That's the upper platforms. Um, so what it goes to like when we see the Overground train on the other platform, uh, this is where it actually goes later down the line. And like for Hars and Town Centre, but uh, yeah, there you go, it's one of the stations that uses West London line. Down towards uh, Richmond, Clapham Junction. Not Richmond's, just Clapham Junction. And this actually cost, uh, carved over uh, another route of the, uh, the overground. Another location they kind of match up. Next station, Kensal Green. Any good, Lucas? It really is. Really, really is. Absolutely loving it so far. So right now we're using the um, train on the Watford DC line, part of the overgrounds between Kensal Green and Tower of Stone. But so far, really enjoying this. Uh, when's the next flight? Not sure yet, Ubertrons, but we'll try and do one at some point soon. Five. Just about fits in the tunnel. <laughs> that is tight, but it just about fits. That as well. I'll do. There you have it. Short little run from Harrowmore Stone down to Kensal Green. So for this time, it will service, and then we will do one last run over on the Elizabeth Line. Uh, Tracer, have got any Northern Line? Uh, no. So in terms of undergrounds, it's only got the Bakerloo Line at the moment. Bakerloo Line is Trenton Worlds. Circle Line is on. Uh, while the subways 
We've got the Metropolitan Line, Districts Line, and Parts of Piccadilly Line. That's on uh, Train Simulator. And then everything else is pretty much an open BVE. Uh, Central Line's got a really good BVE route. So probably should do that at some point. Uh, yes, no vaccine for the Ubertons, but I don't mind. I'm happy on my video. Right, so there you go. It will run on the uh, off DC. Give me two seconds. Sweetie, run downstairs, turn the oven on for dinner. And we'll come back. Uh, so give me, three, give me 30 seconds. Come downstairs, get the oven on. Back in 30 seconds. Right, let's do it, shall we? So, Credits Club, Scenarios, Railroad Express, Elizabeth Line. So, it's still a row put together in the um, Scenario Editor. It um, starts in one of Paddington's side platforms, and then it's. Uh... Yeah, most trains use the tunnel on the Paddington's new one, but some trains do start on platforms 12 and 13, so. We're at 11.30, I remember one of the platforms that exist anymore, but uh, yeah, he's one of the um, scenarios like that. Let's grab a main head timetable. Is it a November service? Should be. Yeah, it's 2 November. Right, set train up, so master key on. Train to forwards, release doors on the right, GS Mario sets up. That'll do. Uh, yeah, so not 12 car, I'm afraid. We got a to four cards. Try using the concept to make it longer, but you can't. But there you go. A little Elizabeth Line everywhere else. That together in the uh, but like, the light towers of last night. <laughs> but it, it does look good. Main head is the uh, destination today. Bellington is quite lively. Trains in the uh, other platforms. Right. So we are running on overhead power mode. That's important. Actually, air doors interlock. Let's go over, shall we? This train is calling at Ealing Broadway, Southall, Hayden Harlington, West Drayton, Ivor, Langley, Slough, Burnham, Taplow, and Maidenhead. Welcome on the calling, how are you doing? Long time to chat. And welcome to the inaugural run of Trains and Worlds Elizabeth Line. Some inaccuracies, you can say what you want about, there's no central door, the, the randles aren't in the right places. There are some inaccuracies, but uh, it, it exists. <laughs> it exists. Hmm. 
Oops, I think. I guess I think. TPWS and AWS operational. Uh, news on Chris, like this, absolutely unschooling, absolutely. It was inevitable. And of course, it was probably the very first thing I did. Oh, okay, okay, first of all, it was a run between Marking and Gospel Light, did a couple of runs on that. And then, straight to the editor and stick it in the list of flying livery. <laughs> it was always going to happen. So there is a contest editor, but unfortunately, it does not allow you yet to have more coaches to this train. You can launch it as, you can spawn it into like a whole train set, but not quite what I'm looking for. Alright, up to Lizzie on the right there, going the other way. It's not perfect, but it does the job. It absolutely does the job. <laughs> I ain't complaining. I'm not too sure I'm scrolling. Um, I I guess part of it's a case of like, I work on the railways and I go home and I stream railways and I volunteer at railway. Passion definitely was starting to wane away a little bit, so I did take a little break from trains, I must admit. But I've, actually, I've had enough time away, I'm fully recharged and I'm ready to slide back into it again. So I'm doing at least one train to stream a week. But um, yeah, when you, when you spend basically 24 hours around the train, uh, you do start getting a bit bored of the train. Really pushing for speed. 85 in this thing. This class uh, 710 pretends to be a 345. <laughs> Maybe train speed limit there. Not really anything about the 77. Pass, pass, direct to the mainline limits. Okay, then two eight comeback was London centered, but it's like four, came back to London ten. Oh yeah, that's it. Don't worry. Like if, if you if you question why this pivot percent on that, that I don't mind so much. I'll give you an answer for that. No worries. Is it a struggle with this from trains for a little while? And then of course the London Grand release. I was on the line that when I was younger, I used to live on that line, so it was formerly local to me. Just the perfect fit to make a return. Don't worry. There's a lot of trains content on the way soon. There's about five videos uploading in the next 24 hours. It's around about trains, so uh, we'll see you for that. Approaching Ealing Broadway.
a four car little <laughs> yeah the four cars definitely don't quite work but it's not terrible um, so Ealing Broadway next station is Southall followed by Hayes and Harlington West Straiton our London stops and then beyond uh, you need to make a proper fake class a, uh, class a Oh yeah, yeah. So you can make the um, class eight hundreds, the um, the high speed trains. See if you those in AI services on the left, or you uh, get onto this line later on. Um, if you go back even earlier than that, one of my great uh, when the um, what stream was it? It was a train stream. It must have been a sort of general one I did in the past, but there was a time where I did the like a modern Great Western stream where I had the uh, class three nine five javelin as the uh, class eight hundreds. Uh, yeah, Sandy the Auto 1 looks uh, looks the part, does the part, fits the parts. Now keep an eye out for AI services on the uh, far tracks on the left. Next station, Southall. West Ealing, terminus for the uh, Greenford branch, which currently has the um, new Viva Rail trains, class 230 I think it is on uh, testing right now. The safety looks very different, they've now put a new platform in place for the trains to terminate, but um, yeah, the, old, uh, the former District Line trains are now running on the Greenford branch. Testing at the moment, and I'll be by the end of the year, actual passenger service. About 60 FPS right now, so no complaints there. And so that's new with the, the, um, the root head sucks. I believe you can build upon the you can't publish them, you can build upon the default routes. So um, it's not impossible for someone to basically load this map up and then extend the tracks to uh, Heathrow. I mean, that's the ultimate thing I'd love to see. I mean, we've got an Island of Wight 2022 route which features the um, Beaver Train, the uh, 8. What, what was that one again? I can't remember. It's like the, the 870, the 820, something like that on the high numbers. But um, yeah, certainly wouldn't mind seeing a future where someone has. Created a modern day Great Western Railway, so class um, 387, 387, 385. Uh, 3, 385, I'm going to say. 381s, 387s. 387, I'm going to say. Class 387s, class 800s. Those are the trains. I mean, all the background's there, they just need to kind of build it, really. I'm going to try on the uh, snow line there. <laughs> Straight sevens it is, yes. Now approaching Southall. Station Hayes and Harlington. And then we're straighten. Again, all these stations on this route now look completely different to how they used to um, originally. All the stations were rebuilt through the Elizabeth Line, all the stations are uh, modernised, platforms extended. It's a very different looking route from railway now. Station Hayes and Harlington, especially the next station, looks pretty much nothing like it used to because they've built a new station building. Actually, West Ealing's last one, another one as well. That's not where they just bought a new station building and then demolished the original. Uh, Hayes and Hardin's another one. They bought a new station building, they demolished the original, and just kind of looks completely different. Alien to how it looked before.
think they go. Javelin. Lord Javelin. Um, I eat it. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. For a slap drop that's together last night, so, like two in the morning, just to get something put together, make a little parts, tweak it later on, and hopefully stick it in the um, the workshop, the uh, community content uh, thing. Approaching Heisenhardington. Yeah, the station is completely different now. New building to the right there. That's access pass now open. Uh, well, if I want to put on to um stream then, basically. I've been live for what? Two and a half hours now, it's going to be about three hours. And again, I could do a reading, everyone does reading, do something a bit different for once. We'll go to a uh, main dead. Also, it works better for the timetabling for the um, AI services as well. Let's try it So right above, that's the uh, crossover, the Hebrew junction. Mm. Used to be a small station uh, called Heathrow Junction, just kind of off this bridge. And they're still constructing the tunnel to the airport, and a point when the tunnel collapsed. Um, it's a little lay-by here. That uh, used to have trains stop there for Heathrow airports. Didn't want to scammer too much more forward. If I did that, it'd go to fade to white. End of scenario, which uh, would really annoy me. I know, because I've done that once in the past. So I was like, oh, by the way, this is uh, Heathrow. Oh, scenario's over. <clears throat> Where more ago? Oops. 
Ja, ja. Ja, wel los voor me. Ja, goed zo. Uh, you'll stay until West Tracing and go, because West Tracing is the most to know about GWE. Fair enough. <clears throat> I've been past West Tracing by bus a couple of times. I've never actually been here at the station. <clears throat> yeah, I've been down the high street a couple of times. So we've got a platform that's no longer used. That's uh, this one here, I believe. Yeah, this platform is no longer used. Um, used to operate the service up to Oxbridge, which is up north from here. The high street down below, just a bit further on. The high street. There it is. Doesn't look like a high street, but this is the high street. <laughs> Station either. That's why transforming the grocery system in the 2022 era. Yeah, so certainly, I say, as, as, as we both say, lots of expansion, lots of works, a lot more uh, going on in this area. We're leaving London shortly, passing in 25. There's Ivor, Langley, Slough, Burnham, Taplow, and Maidenhead. Village train terminates. Uh, why is that audio sounds a little off on my viewpoint of the video? Um, what do you mean by the audio sounds off on? Because there should be no issue of audio. If there is an issue, then do say and I can try and fix it. I'm not, I'm not recording any other videos with it. This is purely just a live stream. The M25. Woo! Parallel running! Shame we're stopping there, not. <laughs> Train comes to a halt. I'm not doors, I did not doors. There we go. Uh, video sounds a little lower than audio. Um, well, if it's something I, that I need to look into, dude, then I can definitely look into that. There shouldn't be any issues, but. Uh, so I'm going to have to just run, now at the end of the stream, I'll have a look back and I'll kind of see if there's anything really tweaking, but... Okay, cheers for that, I'll have to have a look. Again, the issue of interlock automatically when doors close. That needs uh, a little look into, Doctor, please. 
station Langley. No worries, um, thanks for hanging out. Chat to you later, dude. Have a good one. Bye bye. Train. So one of the big benefits of the uh, Elizabeth line opening was that it not necessarily added more services within London. Great Western Railway ran a pretty decent uh, metro service that, okay, might not have been every 15 minutes, but certainly kept the uh, uh, kept it, uh, services moving, albeit for a long time running on class 166 units. Three cars and, uh, well, three cars, sometimes six if they um, couple them, couple them together. And uh, certainly not the most comfy of runs. I've done it several times um, as far as mainly myself. Um, then they brought in the Electro Stars, which replaced the one uh, the uh, turbos, and I got electrified. So that was all good. And then the Elizabeth line basically just made it a uh, mass service: trains, con trains, con trains. So within the court, it's a train every five minutes. So I remain ahead every fifteen, up to Reading every half an hour. when these trains were first introduced. They ran initially on the uh, Shenfield branch near exclusively and then as other parts of the um, Elizabeth Fly and Crossrail projects started to group together, slowly started running across London in its entirety. Yeah, initially these, were, uh, these trains ran when new between uh, Shenfield and Liverpool streets as part of the uh, TFL rail brand. Station Slough, British Slough. And so, as so the further you get from London, the more space out stations you get. So, as opposed to before, where it's got a station every couple of miles, now you get to uh, get to push train a little bit more on these um, long distance runs. Again, not quite a 12 car, not quite the same effects, but it does the job. Alright, now pressing slow.
US. There will be a speed reduction. Yes, yeah, 55 now. Also, we wrote an express. This was the um, the first route that releases DLC after the original CSX Heavy Haul. First UK route, first DLC release, first time we've got passenger service in this game. And I've got to say, this may, it may not be as pretty now as it used to be when it first released. There are certainly. This definitely aged quite a bit, this add on. But even though, even still, it, it stands up to today, I'd say. Not as busy, okay? Good to see. I'd love to be a bit with. The rework to it, tweaking all that kind of stuff, but uh, certainly as a route, it's a uh, it still stands up, especially again. You got okay, it's linear, London to Reading. Would love the few branch lines that come. Give us Greenford, give us Heathrow, give us um, Maidenhead up to uh, oh, what line is that again? That's Maidenhead up to okay, I can never name the uh, line up there, but. Oh, give us a few branches, that would have been really nice. But it was a good mix. You had a fast train, um, the HSTs, you had the slow trains, the class 166. You had a lot of freight runs as well. Running up to um, a couple of sidings down by Southport and Hayes. It was, it was, it was a really good route for its um, kind of initial way it gave you. So one of those better ones. So yeah, that's what I'd love to do. I'd love to see a rework this route to kind of modernise it. Or if you didn't want to modernise it, Give us some of the branch lines. The branch lines would absolutely bring this to life. Next station, our oh, penultimate stop, Burnham. Good train. We've actually hit line speed. 75, okay. <laughs> we thought we'd never do that. This train went to be at Taplo. This uh, this uh, to uh, nine November two two uh, runs faster at Taplo. Don't change on the timetable. You can stop there. Curiously enough. Now approaching Burnham.
happening again. You can see some of the parving in the back of the train, and passengers can't quite make the gap. They're going through the train instead. They look higher resolution than the actual edits in the uh, in game, I'm afraid. But, oh no, I quite, quite like delivering this with line. Getting the, uh, the slants right, that was that was a bit of a task, but other than that, minor inaccuracies we see get pretty just around the window a bit more, so moving around slightly bit. Apart from that, looks pretty good in my opinion. Alright, next stop and final stop for this run Maidenhead. Uh, is this playable with a HUD like TS Classic? Uh, no, Kerno. No. This game does not have a HUD, which you can... I presume you mean like little things with controls you can like move up and down, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, this game does not come with a HUD. If you are playing Trains and World, you got to know the controls. You need to uh, use a keyboard, so A and E for throttle, or the, um, the joystick, or do it by hand. You can drag. In terms of route information, you've got your map in the top right. The distance on the top left. Train mod aims a bit more, a bit more intense, kind of in terms of running, be more like a train driver, a bit more kind of, you're more hands-on with the train and the routes. Of course, if you're the real experts, turn off the overlay, do it by hand, the freehand. Mate, who's a great awesome railway driver? You probably could do it. So uh, London's ready without any um, overlays. So we're faster to the station. Bits. Room 10 is about to cross over. Pretty bit of room in real life. Double yellow down to 60. Drop down to 30 once past the single yellow. And then bring trains or halts for the final time. Uh, you know it's Kono, always happy to help. Passengers, this is main head of this train terminates here. Please remember your belongings when leaving this train. And we thank you for our new Elizabeth line. If you said it doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. There you have it. Welcome to Maidenhead. So around here, this train would go a bit further on. It would go to a reverse siding just outside the platform. Stick in there for about 10 minutes and then return back into Maidenhead. 
seem to have this down towards uh, Shenfield. But yeah, not bad that, not bad at all. Another air slab's coming? Probably not. Let's now code this. Yeah, it's pretty much a clear line now to where Reading. Oh, there is. I know these are, these are our boundaries, but time out here. Um, yeah, no, overall, really, really impressed. Ah, uh, fake 345, acting in part of the uh, 710. <laughs> there you have it! That was the uh, little Ronnie Elizabeth line, there you go. Again, not bad, tiny bit of speeding here and there, but overall pretty, pretty well done to uh, November 2 2. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of that. That's uh, Train Squad 4's London Overground, across the Barking Suffragette line. That was class 710 Adventure Up. We ran on the, the uh, Goblin, as well as the Waffle DC and Elizabeth line. Really, really enjoying this route. Really enjoying what we've got so far. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. A little bit tired now because I've been up for hours now just doing video editing, recording, streaming. So it's not over yet, the stream now over, but there are two videos coming out today. And it's got like um, scenarios one and two that will focus in the floods. And tomorrow we'll only be able to three. So stick around if you want some more trains content, there is more coming out today. Once again, a massive, massive, massive thank you to Dutta Games for giving me the opportunity to stream this early. Um, yeah, overall, big thumbs up. Small, small uh, issues here and there, but nothing game breaking. The route looks good, the train looks good, the train sounds good. It's a very, very, very well done route. This I've enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have well done too. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go have a nap now. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, subscribe to the Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more train smart. It's good to be back, it's good to be back in TSW. Take care, have a good one. Bye bye.